Yo, hello guys, what's up? I'm Nick Webzord, and in today's video, welcome back to Minecraft. And today, we're going to review Subnauty Craft mod for Minecraft Pocket Edition. And this is a nice mod for Minecraft if you want to play Subnautica in your Minecraft world. So, let's start this video. Okay, so now this Subnautica Craft mod, this mod brings uh, uh, some nice features from the game Subnautica. This mod is still under construction and a lot of features are yet to be added. So now, currently this mod adds two vehicles from the Subnautica game, some nice amount of mobs, and uh, a nice more thing for the, our us builders. This, oh man, I just love this. This smooth glass, baby, just look at this. How subtle and nice it is. Just look at this, I wanna kiss this glass pane. Mwah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so whatever. So we are going to review this mod for today. So now, let's start the review. Okay, so now the first thing I'm going to show you is the vehicles that they have added. So first of all, as you can see here, this is a vehicle from that game. It is Prawn Suit. Now it's named Prawn Suit in Subnautica 2. It's a really powerful mech suit and it's really a great suit if you want to play uh, in that game. But in here, it's a really nice too. Just you can ride here you can see how much health it has you can just go down below and just go underwater and explore the heck out of the ocean but uh, it has a little bit of lag let me show you the lag it's not a lag it's kind of bug maybe or I don't know it's still under progress so now you can see this seagrass over there right but if you walk from here see it's uh, just vanishing it's a little bit of a type of bug but that's not a big of a deal so now, how do you get this thing? Okay, so to get this vehicle or the pawn suit, you're going to need some fragments. Now, to find these fragments, you can find them in the creative mode. Just come over here, tap over here, and then just tap in here, tap in mob X, and you can see all the fragments. This is prawn fragment 1, now prawn fragment 2, and just prawn fragment 3. So you have all three of these fragments you can find them in the creative inventory but i don't know how to get them in survival but whatever so now to craft this first of all just take yourself some prawn fragment one and place them on the ground then take yourself some prawn fragment two and place them in the uh, ground too so you can see it's a little bit like this it's in the construction and it's a bit broken type but just take the prawn fragment three and place it there and after animation you can see you can have yourself a prawn suit so now just let me go and demonstrate it in the containment section you can see it's a really nice and movable thing you can just walk into water but beware it uh, dangerous mobs will try to attack this prawn suit and try to destroy it but you can attack them from inside of this vehicle just tap on them and you can you know hurt those guys so that's the prawn suit and let's go to the second vehicle okay so the next vehicle of this mod is going to be the sea moth now a sea moth is like a miniature submarine type thing in the, the subnautica game but in here it's the same just you have yourself three fragments you can find them just come over in this nature section or whatever it's called just uh, click on mob eggs and you can find yourself some fragments over here you can see sea mod fragment 3 you see mod fragment 2 and sea mod fragment 1 so now how do you craft this just go to your nearest ground place sea mod fragment 1 you can see it's a little bit uh, broken so now place sea mod fragment 2 near so it's uh, connected right there and sea mod fragment 3 and after an animation boom you have yourself a nice sea mod and you can see it the structure uh, is really nice the animation or the structure whatever it's called the design is nice and now it's a type of entity so if you hit it it will you know act as an entity and go so now it is really identical to the uh, real one in the game and it uh, also looks really nice now let's get it in the containment unit so you can see it it's underwater and underwater it looks nice too let's see it out from the containment section so as you can see it here it's resting under here and looks kind of nice in that containment aquarium type thingy so now to get in here just click the right button just 
come near it and uh, you know look at it so you'll have a ride option just tap right and you're inside and it's really nice also uh, there is a problem from uh, if you have low spaces you can't go up but uh, it's still under uh, progress uh, it's still being made the mart is still under construction so they're gonna implement that feature really soon so now let's use this sea mod in here in this open water let's see how does it ride okay the sea mod is underwater now you are inside and you can use it like this now it looks really nice you can just stride across the waters uh, really easily just come over here also you can break things from inside from here uh, it's a really nice ma uh, thing if you want to do some underwater exploring and it feels like a nice submarine and that's nice just stride across the area and, and what that could happen so these are the two vehicles from the game Subnautica they done a nice job animating these the animations look really nice also it's really a good mod and uh, if you want to do some exploration in the ocean it's really a nice mod for that so now let's go to the next set okay so now the biggest part of this mod is the mobs in this game so we have three types of mobs we have small fishes medium mobs and big dudes we have some big dudes in this game okay so first of all let's see all the small fishes in this game so we have all the small fishes in this shulker shulk box so as you can see in here we have boomerang we have gary fish we have whole fish we have bladder fish also we have some peepers so let's review these mobs in this nice aquarium okay first of all the peeper now peeper is uh, ambassador of the game subnautica and it is well known for its appearance it has one eye maybe two who knows so this is the peeper in minecraft just look at it uh, really cute let's spawn a bunch of these okay now if you kill them they will drop raw cod also they look really nice inside here just look at here so let's check these peepers in the open waters okay let's spawn ourselves some peepers okay you can see in here the peepers are roaming about here and there just having some fun this guy is uh, it looks like he's feeding from the coral and it looks really nice dude okay so now the next mob okay so the next mob is going to be the bladder fish so the bladder fish is also a nice mob from the game subnautica you can see in here it looks really nice and it's really similar to the bladder fish in the game and it is if you can see right it is transparent you can see it just transparent you can see through the you know bladders of it also let's spawn a bunch more so if you kill these you could get yourself some water bottles and some raw cod maybe let's kill another one okay yep they drop some raw cod and some water bottles so now these are some transparent mobs and they look really nice through the containment unit let's see them from here as you can see they're roaming about here and there so let's feed them in the coral reef okay some bladders spawned in the coral reef let's follow one let's see what it does it's just roaming about here and there now you can see these mobs will make your oceans really vibrant just look at here and okay so that's the bladder fish now let's check the new mob another new mob okay so the next mob in this list is going to be the whole fish so the whole fish is a really small fish or mob in the game of subnautica because it's so small and it is a little bit rare i've played subnautica before but i haven't seen this fish i have seen it once and as you can see it it is really small and it's it's kind of cute you know and it's called the whole fish because you know let me spawn some nice amount of whole fish in here so you can see some more whole fish let's spawn a bunch more so now there's a pack of them so if you check one closely they have a hole in their fin or whatever that organ is called they used to uh, swim with it so we can see from here that uh, thing has a hole in there so that's why it's called a whole fish so we can see them from here in the containment unit they look really nice as a pack and if you have an uh, aquarium and if you like aliens then you can 
and use them as your pets okay let's check them out in the coral reef okay let's spawn a bunch of them okay sorry i killed that accidentally okay i spawned some bunch of whole fish and they're roaming about let's follow one let's see, check what he's going to do okay he's going through here and he didn't got stuck that's nice okay they're just roaming about here and there and that's nice they look cute okay next mob okay so the next mob in this list is going to be the boomerang fish now the boomerang fish is called a boomerang because it looks like a boomerang just uh, check one it looks kind of like a boomerang right the animation is really nice the structure and the thing it's swaying it's like it's swimming itself so let's spawn a bunch more now if we kill one you can see you can get yourself some rock hard and uh, some bones so let's spawn some more you can see these guys look great these are some small fish but they look great and in the pack you can see they look really nice oddly satisfying to watch and a nice companion if you just want yourself a an aquarium so that's the boomerang let's check them in the coral reef okay let's spawn some boomerang fishes over here let's see what are they gonna do so they're just roaming about here and there around the corals this one is eating coral i guess and they are going down in the caves okay they're just having their sea time okay whatever let's go to the next mob okay so the next mob in this list the last small mob in this list is going to be the gary fish so the gary fish it is uh you know an odd type of fish you know looks kind of funny but it is a fish and also adds some life in your sea so you can see some gary fishes these are a little bit bigger than other fishes it's a little bit bigger than the boomerang fish and it kind of looks like a slug with some fins or uh, swimming around you know let's spawn a bunch of them in here as well if you kill them you'll get yourself some raw cod and they don't have that much of a health so let's spawn them in here and check them okay so you can check on them these look kind of nice if you ask me they look nice okay that's the gary fish let's check them in the coral reef shall we okay let's spawn some gary fishes okay so these fishes are just roaming around over here and they're just in the coral reef they look kind of nice let's follow one this is going over here let's let them be so that's all of the small mobs in this mod so let's go and check on the medium sized mobs in this game let's go okay so we have these medium sized mobs of fishes in this mod so let's check on them so first of all we have the stalker the gasopod the skyway and the rabbit prey so let's check on these two first so first of all the skyway is uh in subnautica game it's kind of like a flying mob a flying fish type thingy but it flies around over in there and in here it's like a bird let's follow one because it's can be contained so it will fly around like this and the structure is really nice as you can see so it looks kind of nice these look really nice and uh, when they fly around these guys will spawn uh, near beaches and they'll just fly around like that and they won't attack they are passive mobs okay so that's the sky ray so now let's check the rabbit tray there are two types of ray in this mod so now let's check the rabbit tray so the rabbit tray is a medium sized mob because it's bigger than other mobs in this game bigger than other fishes in this game and you can see they look nice just check on the structure they look really nice and they just fly around here and there let's check them in the ocean okay let's spawn some rabbit tray over here you can see these rabbit rays will just roam around here and there and just do their stuff now this one is trying to eat coral now they don't eat real coral right like you should just uh, spawn them here they'll eat all of the coral no 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 they won't do that they just you know want just wander around here and there is just they do that and they'll spawn here randomly naturally so that's this mob now let's check the other mobs okay so the next mobs are going to be the stalker and the gasopod so let's review the gasopod first so the gasopod in the game subnautica uh, is a medium passive mob 
it won't attack you on its own but if you attack it or go near it it will release a type of orb and if the orb will explode and release a poisonous gas the same goes in here if you go near it in survival mode it will release a type of ball and it will then explode and give you poison effect and it will do the same to a prawn suit uh, like if we have a prawn suit over here let's just add a gasopod over here like see it will release a type of ball and the ball has exploded and it is releasing poison effect so like i'm going near it you can see i have myself some poison effect see i have poison effect for three seconds also it's going to die outside water so that also matters let's ride in here you can see it will do some severe damage to the prawn suit and it will kind of lag you can see there it's the orb it will explode if you go near it see it will explode like that and it has done severe damage to that like see that's the orb over there and it will explode if you go near it those are the orbs just go near it and it will explode sometimes it will not explode all of the time and it's lagging really it kind of lags when the uh, they release these uh, gases because it's still under development it needs more development of course so now let's use let's see this gas pod in the coral reef okay so i spawned three gasopods in the game subnautica the gasopods spawn in a pack of three or four and they just roam about here and there just doing their stuff and they look kind of nice uh kind of odd but that's not that bad so that's the guest pod mob in this mod so let's check the stalker out okay so the stalker is a predatory shark like life form or a shark type fish it will hunt you down it will damage you and it's a bad mob in one voice it's a little bit big and long it will die if it's outside of the water let's send it inside the water also if it whoa did it multiply itself it's a uh, it's I, I don't know if it's a bug or not or it multiplies itself but that's the stalker in here now the natural habitat for this mob is this biome this kelp forest they spawn in here in game so they just roam about here and there and that's it they'll hunt down other types of small fishes and you uh, if you are in survival mode but i won't show that now so that's the stalker mod in this mod okay guys the uh, time has come for the big dudes this big dude has caused a lot of jump scares to the subnautica players and has now come to minecraft to terrorize us minecraft players now be aware this guy is really 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 scary well in the game subnautica it is but in minecraft that it's not that scary but i'm going to introduce to you the mob reaper leviathan yep the reaper leviathan it can be contained in this containment unit you can see it's huge it's just huge just look at it it's lagging it's bugging over well it's not lagging it's just in a short space let's kill it it has more than thousand hp health points it is really hard to kill it's like an iron golem and it is really really freaking me out it's really a big mob but the artwork uh, for this mob is really accurate if i say it it's, and it will die too if it is in, in dry land it will kill itself but you can see it's not dying that easily it has a lot of health points okay so let's let that guy die over there and let's spawn a reaper leviathan over here underwater shall we that's the reaper leviathan it will just roam around like this just it's really scary if you are in uh, survival mode it will just come towards you this game doesn't have any mob sounds but if you hear the regular sound in not like the game if you hear the sound of a reaper you're going to really regret it because this mob is really really scary okay let's go near it in survival mode okay i'm in survival and there is that reaper 
let's go okay if uh, i don't know if it's coming towards me okay i'm underwater but uh, oh, okay you can see you can see you can see it's really it will come towards you like that and it will nab you it will just try to eat yourself up and let's see okay you can see there it will come towards you it will won't sometimes come towards you uh, sometimes you can see it's just gonna bite you and it packs a really huge punch and this reaper mob is nothing to work with it's really you just need to avoid it it will terrorize you and i don't know where it will spawn but if you install this mod and try to play on survival it will surely terrorize you okay guys so that is the whole subnautic craft mod for minecraft pocket edition this add-on pack or the mod pack it's really nice if you want to do some underwater explorations and if you want to enhance your underwater experience in Minecraft, you can just do this. Also, this mod is still in development. Uh, you can support the owners or the creators of this mod so okay, they can add some more contents in this mod really fast. And if you want me to play a mod of your choice, if you want me to do a review of a mod of your choice, then just name the mod in the comment section, say the name of that mod in the comment section, give a link to it, and I'll try to download it and play it for you guys. Also, if you like this video and if you want more type of these videos, then hit the like button and support the channel for free. Also, if you aren't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and become a subscriber. And you won't miss any other videos from this channel. Then stay tuned. Bye. Necrovzo out. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.